Okay, hi, Jamie. Hello, how are you? Oh, fine, great. How are you doing now? Yeah, I'm good. Um, I woke up from a nap quite recently, so I'm I'm still uh <laughs> waking up. <laughs> okay, so you're on on a tour or 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 uh you go somewhere? Yeah, we're in uh Australia at the moment. Oh, okay. Okay, Jimmy, I want to ask you about uh, the latest album. Uh. My big day. Maybe you can uh, tell me about the concept, the album, and uh, uh, the process of uh, production. What makes this album is different uh, than previous previous album? Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, we released the album um more than a year ago now. So we're kind of coming to the end of touring it. Um, and this will probably be the last tour that we do for the album. Um, so it feels like feels like quite a long time ago now that we were um, making it. But uh, but really, it, we were probably making it for about three years. Um, and st and we started working on it immediately after the previous album um, because because the COVID nineteen pandemic happened. Um, yeah. as soon as we'd made the last record um, so we didn't weren't really able to tour the last one so just got got to working on my big day immediately um, and uh, we produced it ourselves um, rather than working with um, a producer and I'm not sure if there's kind of well I don't think there's like an overarching concept I think the main thing was that we just wanted to kind of not have any boundaries, um, mm -hmm. not have any kind of pre-existing ideas about what could go on the album. And I think as a result, it's very eclectic musically. Um, mm -hmm. It kind of moves. There's lots of different kind of styles of music and genres on there. Um, and then I think it is where it's probably the biggest departure from what we've done in the past is just that we worked with a lot of like other artists outside of the band. Um, so, you know, featured singers like Damon Auburn and Shaka Khan and uh, Nila Fianya. Um, so that was, that was probably the kind of the biggest change for us was doing that. Mm. So what about, what about when you, uh, recording this is not like, any difficult or maybe try to uh, find a new sound. Maybe you can tell more about it. Yeah, did we did we try and find anything new? Do you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. I kind of, I think kind of sonically or with the sound of the album. I think it it. Mostly, there's nothing on it that's kind of a radical departure mm. to anything that we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. um, I think maybe the the only exceptions to that are the song we did with Shaka Khan, Tekken 2, which is kind of very much like a kind of traditional disco song, oh, yeah. which, is, <laughs> which is definitely not in our comfort zone. Um, and then also the song we did with Damon Auburn, Heaven, yeah. I think is it's quite kind of orchestral. And it is we were kind of referencing the Beatles a lot with that. Um kind of like Abbey Road era Beatles. And that that is quite that again, that's quite different to anything that we've done in the past. So uh, many musicians is uh, involved in this album, like yeah, to say before, uh, Lemon Alban and Jakarta, right? And also uh, Holly Humblestone. How 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 do you uh, ask them to to involve in this album? Is it because they 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 famous? Like, yeah, it was kind of different for each person. Um... And it's it's quite different asking like a small indie artist if they want to be on it 
versus asking Shaka Khan. Um, yeah. And some of the people were people we had kind of pre-existing relationships with. Um, like Jack had worked with Damon Alban before on some of other Damon Alban solo projects. Um, and then um, Holly Humberson, we we kind of knew already. Um, and I think Jack had done some co-writing for her in the past. Um, but then everyone else was just people that we admired. And I think Nila Fayanya and Jay Som, I think we just messaged on Instagram, kind of slid, slid into their DMs, so to speak, um, and said, would you be interested in working on this together? And they And it turned out they were both fans of the band already. Uh, and then Shaka Khan was probably a bit more like transactional in, in an old school way. We just emailed her manager and said, here's the song. And, and they said, oh, yeah, she'd love to do it. Here's how much it will cost. Um, and it was more like, OK, you just need to pay this amount of money. Um, so, yeah, it was lo lots of different ways that we ended up working together. Okay. Okay, Jenny, let's talk about the you will uh, uh, come to Indonesia and perform in the big festival, Joyland Festival. Yeah. How preparation and uh, uh, have you ever heard about Indonesia? Yeah, so, so is the question what have we done to prepare for the tour? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, it's the first gigs. So we're in Australia at the moment. Um, but before then, we hadn't done any gigs for maybe three months. Um, and Jack and I had both had children or had had new babies um, in in August. So, it, yeah, so we, <laughs> we haven't had much time to think about things outside of that. Um, so the main preparation has been trying to get some sleep again. Um, but I think because we've, you know, we've probably done 150, 200 gigs okay. for this album already. Um, so we're pretty, we're like a well-oiled machine. Um, so there's not, there's not too much that we need to do. So, uh, uh will you all, uh, make, uh, some kind of like a special surprising for a fan from Indonesia? <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a good question. Um, I think may maybe we'll like pull out a song that we haven't played before um, in Southeast Asia or something like that. Um, but we'll, we'll have to have a think about it. Sorry, I just need to turn this phone off. Okay, maybe this is the, the, the last question. Thank you, Jenny. Sorry, what was your next? Yeah, what was your next question? Okay, my next. Uh, this is the last question because uh, time is up. Uh, do you any message to your uh, Bombay Bicycle fans? Have my Bombay Bicycle Club fans? Do you have any message? Uh, just that we're we're very excited to come, and we want as many recommendations as possible for things that we should do, and food that we should eat, and places that we should go. I can wait to see you here. <laughs> okay, Jamie, right. thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.